my name is Megan. Welcome. I'm so glad you clicked on today's video. So on Sunday we came home from our trip to Jamaica. We left during the cold snap. It was like minus 32 when we left and when we got home it was minus 9. Perfect, okay? For a Canadian that is good. So I wanted to kind of like show you some clips and stuff from our trip and pictures. But before I do that, I wanted to talk about a few travel tips that I learned with a toddler and also things I would and wouldn't I would do next time. So number one is I would bring more snacks. I just kind of assumed if we ran out of snacks, we could go down to like the store or the resort and get snacks. You can get snacks at the store, but let me just put it in this perspective. So at the resort, everything from merchandise to food is going to be twice as much as off the resort. So we did go off the resort, as you can see. I did get my hair, I had one fall out today, but I did get my hair braided off the resort. And this only cost me like $30. I love it, I'm just kind of upset this side fell out, but I had to kind of fix it today. But I'm going to try and keep the rest of my braids in for at least the rest of the week. Mostly merchandise off the resort. Now, if you wanted to town, you could probably find snacks like cheesies and stuff like that for the regular price, which would be like, so a big bag of cheesies. Now, I don't know if this is the same for everywhere. But in Canada, a big way of cheese is you go to Walmart, six bucks, seven bucks max for like the big full bag of cheesies. Dollar store, four dollars I believe, something like that. I don't know why I didn't go to the dollar store. But anyways, I would next time go to the dollar store and get more snacks to take with us to the resort because even though it's all inclusive, you only get like food and drinks, snacks you have to kind of buy on your own. So I went in there thinking, okay, I'll just go like grab some fruits and stuff and put them in a little container for Madison and take them to the pool. Not really thinking about like pool snacks per se, but if you have a picky kid or toddler, definitely bring snacks. Pack snacks, bring snacks. Even if you come home with snacks, that's fine. But I was, the last two days we were there, I was scared we were going to run out of snacks. Because Madison was living on the snacks I brought her, which was bear paws and goldfish. So, next time, I'm going to go to the dollar store and buy more snacks to take with us. For mostly pool days and stuff like that. And evenings, like when we're back at the room. I ran out of snacks, okay? So more snacks. If you have a toddler, picky eat picky eater, to a toddler that's a picky eater, more snacks. In terms of service, service was great some days, not great other days. This is like a near resort. So there was a few times that I ordered a few things when we were at the buffet and because the buffet was, I found the buffet was the busiest place because it's a children's, it's a, a family friendly resort with kids and for the most part the parents were going to the buffet with their kids because a lot of the other restaurants, you only really had chicken fingers for the kids or pasta. So you gotta keep that in mind also. Another reason why I would have brought more snacks is for the main reason that if we wanted, if me, or if you wanna try out like a Japanese restaurant or Italian restaurant and you don't think your kid will like the food there or they don't have like an alternative kids menu, you can still go there with them but then have snacks in your bag. So give them snacks and then I would take them to the buffet after. Something else I didn't really think about. 
But I packed enough clothes, I packed enough swim diapers, I packed enough pull-ups. That was all good. I could have packed less warm clothes, I think, because it was hot the whole week. So maybe I would have brought like two or three warm outfits. But then again, they say like bring two outfits per day. Well, she spent most of the day in her swimsuit anyways. So maybe I would go down to like one outfit per day plus like two or three extra outfits, give or take. That was, excuse me, that was just my experience. Again, merchandise, do not get merchandise on the resort. There was a bag that I liked that was like $50 on the resort. I got it off resort for $30. Again, my hair, $30. There is something else. I don't know why, but... Okay, something else. I brought one big thing of adult sunscreen, which was maybe half full when we left. We almost ran out. Sunscreen, again, at the resorts, you're looking at $30 to $40 for a small sunscreen. Don't forget sunscreen. Pack the sunscreen. Pack extra sunscreen. Just do not forget your sunscreen when you go to the resort. Because sunscreen is expensive at the resort. I don't think I mentioned this before he left. Tip money. Bring your tip money. Bring extra money for tips. If you plan on going on an excursion, extra money to go on an excursion. Um, that's about it. I think I would have brought maybe a few more toys. I mostly pack toys for the plane and then like two extra toys to fit in the suitcase also I would next time I would have Madison's suitcase like an act like a suitcase for Madison just because I found with my stuff and her stuff it got pretty heavy I was at like 40 something pounds when we left and I could have brought more stuff I brought two books, didn't really read them. I spent most of my time in the pool and I kind of knew I wasn't really going to read much. I was kind of, I kind of hoped that I would read a little bit more than I did there. I think that was all, yeah, that was all for that. Um, what did, Tylenol. Tylenol, Advil, definitely bring that because both ways I experienced something new on the plane with the air pressure I got a headache there and a headache back. That's something I did not expect. So that's what I got. If your ears are sensitive or you think your ears might be sensitive, there's these like earplugs. I'll have to see if I can find them online. But there was a girl on our plane that her ears were really, really sore on the way there. And then I thought, what can you use if you had ear troubles on the plane? And someone was talking about these, they kind of look like AirPods, but they're like ear protection things that would like stop your ears from popping, I guess, or from like really bothering you on the plane. I'll have to see if I can find it on Amazon. I can't remember what the person called it, but I'll have to see if I can find it on Amazon. Yeah, those were the top, top tips that I can give you that I would do differently next time. But again, those are mostly tips from if you're traveling with a toddler. I like snacks. I'm a person that likes to have my snacks. I like to have snacks around, like to be able to access snacks. So even if I wasn't traveling with a toddler, I think I would still bring some extra snacks for myself. Because to pay $15 for a bag of cheesies, that you can get in Canada for six dollars. Exact same cheesies, nothing special about the cheesies. Yeah, no, just no. Okay, that was that uh, that, uh, that that was all for that. I'm just gonna show you some clips of the resorts. 
And yeah, any other questions, just comment below. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and the pictures and the videos that are coming, the, the other videos that are coming from our trip. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Comment down if you've ever been on uh, all inclusive vacation, if you want to go to one, if you're thinking about one. Say, send me a comment and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.